Welcome back to Campaign Series Middle East, and this is the Battle of Karameh. Now, I called this the Invasion of Jordan, but what this really is, is an Israeli military operation to clear out PLO, uh, or Palestinian Liberation Organization, members uh, from this area. And of course, the Israeli army here has claimed that there are terrorists in the region, so our job is to move in and do some damage. We do have airstrikes at our disposal, and of course we're going to be trying to use them. I think first thing we'll do is move, um, <clears throat> excuse me, move the Battalion HQ into a position where we could spot the enemy. This will potentially open us up to fire, but it'll also allow us to call in extremely effective air support. So I'm going to start pushing forward here. It looks like the Lieutenant Colonel is going to have to stay back. Not a problem. Took a shot, um, but actually the Lieutenant Colonel is okay. Now what I want to do is move up with all of these infantry units, of course. Oh, sorry about that. Um, and make sure that they get over here to this point quickly so that they're not... So that, of course, the commanders are not taking shots. And decent. We did actually have a few men reduced there from the Senaim unit. Uh, we're going to try not to worry about it too much, but I'm going to keep this commander back here. And I'll move these men up as well. Now, I could start calling in airstrikes immediately, but I'm not sure that's exactly the best idea in the world. Um, let's call in an airstrike on the tank. What the hell? We might as well. Right there. Just calling in one. We've got some potential enemy targets over here, too. Um, which our other forces are advancing towards, potential PLO camps. So I'm going to call in an airstrike right here. But again, this could be a bit early to be initiating these strikes. And really, the area we want to capture is mostly this one. This one, I don't know if it's as important, although it likely is going to turn out um, being as important. Advancing across an open road, though, does not seem like a good way to get to that location. So instead, we're going to start moving over here to assist in the capture of this area. And sure enough, the enemy opened up right away there with a heavy machine gun on the hill. Um, and actually, we've spotted an additional enemy target, so we're going to call in an airstrike there as well. Really try and soften up the area. <clears throat> I'm going to actually see if our men can open fire from distance here. No, that's a bit too far. And with these men, I'm just going to push forward a little bit here. Not too much. And we'll call it right there, folks. Ending the turn. Wish us the best of luck. Quite a few, um, looks like PLO, they could be Syrian Army Infantry units here. Um, or I should say Jordanian Army Infantry units. Nope, sorry, Syria. I keep forgetting the conflict we're in. There are a lot. Here's some air support. And the air support actually didn't hit the location we were looking for. We're trying to hit the tank. Not very effective air support right there. There we go. Not bad. Dropped a bomb. And once again, no effect. We're going to have to carpet bomb that area, I believe. Looks like we're striking what looks like an anti-tank guided missile in the area here. And we did reduce some of the number of enemies here. A second bombardment coming in, and I think that wiped out the anti-tank guided missile. Completely eliminated it. So, certainly we can feel good about that. But we can feel good about all of these unknown, likely PLO units, including armor, um, inside the actual village itself. So, even at a distance like this, the Sunaim 61B, um, if we're taking a look over here at visibility 20, fire cost, assault... I think we could actually potentially take out armor, um, but I'm actually going to focus on infantry here. Kind of want our air support to take out the armor, if possible. We can't rely on infantry to do it. Again, no effect. It could just simply be a distance issue here. We've also got some mortars that I haven't been using. Hold on. 60mm uh, mortar. We're going to have to get into a, a spot of visibility, although maybe good enough. And an 81 millimeter mortar. And I'm going to drop on the same location and over here. And I think we should also call in yet another airstrike directly on that location. Airstrike on that location. And an airstrike here. 
Now, we can't just remain at a distance and hope that, you know, these airstrikes go to plan. We've got to try and at least get into a concealed area. So I'm immediately getting over here. Pretty good job by the Tsanahim and the heavy machine guns. And for these guys, I almost want to put pressure on this unit. This is the one area where I think I'll stay put and not really move at all. Let's get our machine guns up here. We can fit quite a few units into these areas. And thankfully, it looks like all of that rubble is keeping our men somewhat safe um, from enemy fire, at least temporarily. That's that's probably going to change quite soon. And what am I doing over here? I'm going to pull um, Lieutenant Colonel Yari back. It's crazy of me to send him in. I kind of had an idea that I was going to move in with the entire crew here and target the enemy. But their return fire is quite effective. Here we go. We'll actually take a shot at the tank. No, we can't do it. So they cannot take out the tank. There's no way. We really have to rely on our mortars or air support to take that thing out. Wish us luck, folks. We're ending the turn right there. All right, indirect fire from the enemy. It's not going to affect us at all. But you could see that they were watching our movement and trying to match it, trying to hit us with the artillery. Thank goodness we moved out of that location. But we were still a hex south, but better safe than sorry. Now that was a direct hit on our men, and I mean direct. Reduced a lot of their number. Absolutely devastating. So I should have gone against my better judgment there and actually advanced. Mortar seems to have missed. Let's see what the PLO and their friends do here during this turn. Oh, they are taking their time. Just opening fire. All right, fair enough. Here we go, guys. Let's see if these airstrikes lead to something. I'd love to take out that armor. If I took out the armor, I'd feel a, a lot safer. Not particularly effective. What's also interesting is it looks like the enemy is trying to fire at our air units. Um, and we did reduce the infantry unit there a bit. There we go. Some artillery. A little more artillery. The 81mm mortar. And we did reduce or disperse one of these units. Let's hope it was the armor. We also reduced or disrupted this unit with the artillery fire. So it looks like our mortars are doing a lot better than our air support at the moment. Um, but we need to proceed and capture that area. We can't just stop here. Um, and get hit by the enemy um, artillery support. We know that they're going to do that eventually. One of our Tsunayim units is disrupted there. So I'm going to move forward with the rest of them. That's the one that's that's disrupted. Boom. It's a sacrifice that has to be made. We've got to push up little by little. And of course I'm going to continue that mortar fire. Oh! Didn't mean to do that at all. Make sure that you select the fire button. Yeah, we're not going to do much with that. Now, the reason being, because at the very least, this is a form of suppression. But yeah, we're not hitting the enemy from here. So we'll do the next best thing. I'll see if we can't target that enemy infantry. And we did actually reduce some of the men there. Um, some of the units. We can also move in with this unit right here. Quite a few heavy machine guns and light machine guns. But I think the woods will be in our way. So we're going to have to get into what I'm going to call the olive grove. And open fire. Once again, disrupted <clears throat> and reduced and disrupted the enemy infantry. That's not going to go well for them. And as for these units, I think the best thing to do is maybe start to regroup with these guys. I mean, this is a situation that nobody wants to be in, of course. So let's regroup. Just get everybody together over here. And hopefully we don't get targeted again by artillery. But it's clear that we're going to have to advance. Sometimes going directly at the enemy is the safest thing to do. In the meantime, I still want to call in that air support. 
And let's call in some air support on these units as well. And these units as well. I'm seeing a potential enemy commander here. We can see him on the right side. So knocking him out could could end this battle prematurely. Um, I don't think that's going to be it's going to be that simple, but we've got to give it the good old college try. Here we go, and sure enough, they dropped already directly on top of us, uh, reducing some of our light machine gun crew and definitely damaging our men overall. So they are getting great shots with the artillery here. That's why we need to get a lucky shot and hit one of these spotters. So we fired smoke into these areas, not sure why. Um, if anything, that kind of helps us to, to conceal our men. Um, but maybe they're maybe they've got some men hidden over here and they're gonna go for a push. These are all effective hits by the enemy so far. Reduced, disrupted, etc., forcing our men back, of course. Let's hope that our airstrikes find their targets. Reduced and disrupted. Very nice. So over time, we are knocking them out of these cities. It's just taking a lot of, uh, of time to do it, of course. We've got to weaken them little by little. Disrupted. Again, reduced is much better for us uh, as opposed to disrupted. But we are advancing. We are getting so close. Again, we've got to get pretty ballsy here. Um, and I'm even going to try and take out that enemy tank. <coughs> Wow, amazing. We we forced it to retreat. Now, we didn't do any damage to the thing, but forcing an enemy tank like that to retreat is pretty great, obviously. I'm going to try to just reacquire this position, hoping they're not going to hit it a second time, but no, it looks like they're both disrupted. They are not coming back to the battle this turn. So let's at the very least provide some covering fire. And once again, reduced and disrupted. So we're hitting a lot of these PLO units, and we just wiped them out right there. Now, if only we had a unit that could effectively get there this turn. Unfortunately, we don't. Although now, let me take that 81mm mortar. And I want to immediately fire where the tank is. Yeah, let's try to direct all rounds over there. We'll also call in an airstrike where that tank is. Boom. got no option. We've got to push forward. We know what the enemy will do if we stop for a single second. And in fact, just to uh, persuade them not to fire, we'll try to drop another airstrike there, but I think we're actually out of airstrikes. We had a total of 10. I'm going to try to get the 60mm mortar a bit closer too. And let's grab our Sanaim unit and join up with the rest of the group. So essentially, this is going to be a shock attack group. We're trying to get into town and push out any PLO units, wipe them out, of course, so that we can claim victory here. And once again, turning it over to the PLO and their allies. All right, that's not near us. Ooh, they're getting close, though. And see, had we stayed there, we would have been completely bombed. Same with this unit. We can't stop moving with this attack, clearly. We've got to keep the attack going. Okay, they are disrupting the Tsasahim. Now, I'm not as concerned with a disruption as I am with a reduction. Because, of course, reduce means we've taken casualties. Disruption just means morale isn't great. We can get over that over time. They are trying to hit our units over here. And why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? We're right in the middle of the desert. We're gonna have to return fire this turn. One artillery unit available. Not bad. At least we're hitting them, but doesn't seem to be effective hits there. Okay, I take it back. Reduced and force them to retreat. As you can see, though, they took those defensive positions once again over here. And they've got a jeep, which I'm thinking could potentially be an enemy commander. I'm going to try to destroy that thing. Let's 
Let's open up on them, boys. Advancing would not be effective right now, and maybe opening up on them won't either, so actually let's target the Jeep with the second burst. And no effect. Wow, I'm amazed by that. I am amazed by that. I think they got lucky there. Sometimes you just get lucky on the dice roll. What can I say? And no mortars either. We can get some with the 61 millimeter. Or the 60 millimeter, I should say. So we'll go ahead and try to kind of pepper it around the area. And let's see if the machine guns... Nope, they're disrupted. And the heavy machine guns are disrupted as well. So we're kind of on our own over here with the Sasahim. Although now that they can return fire, I think I'm going to go for individual shots. Like, for instance, we've got a 60 millimeter mortar. Might as well go ahead and open up on them. Boom. Nice. Now, we don't know who the PLO is. If they're these units or they're these units or both. I think these could just be Syrian uh, army units. And these could be the PLO guys. Not very effective on the first shot. We're going to push forward with our infantry. And again, we've got that enemy mortar unit. Um, but this close, I, I hope it's not going to be a threat. I'm not sure they can fire at this distance. Um, let's target the infantry here. Again, no effect. We're going to have to hope to, that it's a little more effective next turn. I mean, we are completely out of any sort of air support, so it comes down to the men on the ground. Oh, yeah. They're going for that machine gun, and they did manage to reduce and disrupt it. Since he's disrupted, we can't actually move him off his location. So those are going to be pretty effective hits. Even with the Olive Grove protecting us, still took some reduction there, for sure. And the Tzatzahim have also pulled back. Man, it's coming down just to these forward infantry units. I don't even think we get reinforcements for this battle. So let's hope we can make it. They are actually hitting us. I didn't think they could, but they are actually um, hitting that target. Let's see if they make any movement at all. I think for sure they're going to fire with the tank. But if that's all... Hopefully, we can make that advance work. That's right. Our men have learned to take cover. Plenty of time and training here. And they're sending those guys back in. So they just retreated from the town, but they returned quite quickly. Air support once again. <clears throat> and from what I can see, no effect on that side. What about over here? Looks like maybe a Phantom, although I don't know my planes. Is that an F4 Phantom? Can somebody tell us? And we did destroy one of the units there. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. But that Jeep somehow has escaped this devastating barrage. And I want to kill that Jeep. I almost think it's more important to kill that Jeep than to kill the tank. And we have no choice, folks. We've got to push in. Um... Now, despite me saying that, we know what the bigger threat is, so let's go for the tank. No effect, but that can change. We're going to change to the Jeep here, and we eliminated the Jeep. Now, for all we know, that could be a high-ranking PLO commander, or it could be just a scout unit. If it's a high-ranking PLO commander, that may very well buy us, um, you know, a battle or really lower enemy morale. Only time will tell. We actually managed to reduce and disrupt some of the PLO units here. Unfortunately, probably doing quite a number on the civvy population. As we fired directly on top of them. No, he is not moving. Alright, fair enough. And these guys are both disrupted. Now, incredibly, the heavy machine gun is not disrupted. But being disrupted in this particular battle is pretty much a death sentence. Because... You know, all the enemy has to do is find us, target us with Artie, and their Artie is completely on point during this fight. So again, I am remaining right here with my men. I will try to hit them with our mortars. No known effect so far. And again, no effect. We might have to do a charge here, which I am terrified of doing um, because our guys are disrupted. So let's hold off for now. 
Let's just open fire and hope we get lucky, cause some reductions amongst the enemy lines. At least they're not doing any damage to us either, but they will next turn with another artillery strike. Good shooting by the men. We got a reduction there. Not too bad. We're just going to have to hope that that works out for us as we, as we move forward, and let's end the turn. It's going to come down to these last few minutes. It really is. There's just no way around it. One of us is going to have to get off this battlefield. Ooh, direct strike on the Olive Grove area. And again, none of our men there are getting killed, but still forcing a retreat and a lot of morale issues with our guys in the north here. So actually, counter mortar fire. They forced the 60mm to retreat. Kind of glad they didn't fire at the infantry advancing, because if those guys can undisrupt, if that's a word, this turn, we, we stand a chance. Oh my goodness. Yeah, forcing a lot of our Sanahim back. This is the problem with enemy armor. Alright, let's hope that um, some of these airstrikes find their targets. Actually, they did... They did force the enemy to retreat, but they have so many units over here. I mean, this would be a perfect target of opportunity. All right, guys. So, incredibly, this unit is okay to come back. They're not disrupted. Now, this unit is. So, what I'm going to do with them... Again, try and damage any other enemy uh, men, etc. Men in material... And again, we reduced even more of them. Not bad. So what I'm going to do... We're taking a big risk doing this. But I am going to assault this area. Um, try and bust the tank out of here. Then we could advance into this area, uh, for the most part, unchallenged. In fact, it even looks like one of our machine guns is ready to rejoin the fight. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to rejoin this particular battle right here in the Fog of War. But this charge could be the tail of the tape. Whatever happens here could, <clears throat> of course, echo on... Wow, I really need to carry around some water during these videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, could, you know, carry, uh, have consequences that carry on into the future. We'll have to see. All right, here we go. And sure enough, we force the tank back. Absolutely incredible. Um, forced them to retreat. Didn't do any damage to them. Maybe just scared the living hell out of them, really. So we've taken this location. I'd love to take these additional locations over here. The PLO will probably try to reacquire them. In the meantime, though, let's just stay put. Because if they try to do a counterattack, I want to be prepared. We're going to do the same thing down here, believe it or not. And try and take that location. Although, unfortunately, I think this is one that the enemy can retake fairly easily. Let's resolve it. Sure enough, force the enemy back. And the defenders were forced to retreat. Once again, retreating before taking any severe casualties. Alright, I'm definitely going to target them with a mortar. And I don't think we have any airstrikes left, but I think we have artillery. So, I've saved the best for last. Let's drop 155 millimeter on top of this position. Let's, uh, can we drop even more artillery? We can. Gonna drop another 155 millimeter onto that position. You guys see why I saved the best for last? And this is assuming that all of this artillery actually strikes this location. The rest I'm gonna throw directly on top of this. Alright. Wish us luck, folks. I think that was a pretty good turn. The question is, can we remain in that location and hold it for the rest of the battle? Yeah, they're already still trying to desperately find us, that's for sure. Okay, nice. We actually reduced some of their number there. No effect on the tank, but we are holding the position. They're desperately trying to push us back. The same over here, but let's hope that our artillery makes a huge difference in this area. 
and unfortunately you can see they are succeeding in pushing these units back we don't have enough men to hold this position unless we do devastating damage to the enemy and oh my gosh what is that enemy support artillery support tank support this is insane okay i was not expecting this guys looks like potential jordanian allies i'm not even sure but we are still going to try and take these locations it doesn't end here at least I hope it doesn't end here. Maybe should have saved off all that off-map artillery. I mean, this seems like the entire army of some small Arab nation. It really does. Hold on, men. Don't give up. So far, our men are holding their positions very bravely here. Let's see what that arty does. Come on. No effect. No effect. Incredible, friends. So we do have some reinforcements arriving. Hold on a second. We don't have any here yet, but they are on the way. So I'm really curious to see how this battle winds up. Um, and I'm sure you guys are too. <laughs> that being said, if you want to see part two of this battle, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. Um, since YouTube absolutely hates like part twos or whatever, I'll probably just come up with a very similar name. Um, put up a, you know, a reminder on our community board and... Um, Pretty much I'll let you guys know uh, what part two is. So if you want to see part two, all I request is that you hit a like and drop a comment down below. It could be anything from happy birthday to thumbs up to uh, this is what I think should have happened in this battle. I think you guys get the picture. But an interesting fight so far. And we still have quite a few turns to go and quite a few reinforcements arriving. So maybe they can get us out of this mess. Or maybe we've gotten ourselves in too deep.